Hello everyone. For the next few tutorial videos, I'd like to talk about what energy means in terms of physics, especially how energy works in mechanical systems. Starting with a definition of what work means in terms of a formal scientific definition rather than the everyday meaning. Work is specifically defined as the transfer of energy from one system to another, almost entirely mechanical in nature, and is governed by the equation W equals F times D, where D means displacement and not distance, because the formal definition of work involves a distance traveled in a specific direction and not a regular distance. Because of the fact linear forces have specific directions. There is actually another factor in the work formula which is cosine of angle between displacement and force. And this is used to specify that in order for work to be done the displacement must be in the direction of the force. So if it is perpendicular to the force then the force is not causing the object to move in that scenario and so therefore no work is done by that force. For example, if you hold the briefcase straight up and walk to the right, you are technically not doing any work on the briefcase because the force from your arm's tendons are holding the briefcase up while you move right. But in order for it to qualify as work, the force must be to the right as well. This may seem like nonsense because of our everyday experience in that we get tired holding the briefcase up. But that is because, in that scenario, there are entirely different forces that are causing you to tire out, in particular, the force of the tendons and muscles acting on one another inside the arm. But the overall system of the arm and briefcase does have a work of zero, as that is what we were focusing on for the purposes of the problem. Just like the international measurement of distance is meters and the international measurement of time is seconds. The international measurement of work done or energy in total is in something called joules written at capital J. And this is true for any type of energy and not simply mechanical ones. However, for the purposes of our next few tutorials, we will concentrate on mechanical energy only and ignore the other types. Now that we have gone over what work is mechanically, we can discuss the energy of motion called kinetic energy next, and how to derive its formula from something called the work energy theorem. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.